In this video, we're going to take a look at the new CurvesViz command. Now, we've always had the ability in Freeform to create curves and edit those curves. Whereas now, we also have the ability, when we're creating a curve, down here on the Dyna bar, click on the CurvesViz option. And now, when I make my curve, you can see how we have some spheres equally distributed along that curve. I can edit that curve, and you see the spheres update. Now if I come down to my Construct Clay Toolbox and go to my new tool, Curve Spheres to Clay, I can now come down to the Dyna Bar. I'm going to go straight to this option in the middle, Edit Spheres. And now by default, if I hold down the button on my stylus and move the, the cursor along, you can see how that by default the curves are shrinking. If I hold down the Shift key, you can see how the, cur the spheres are actually getting bigger. If I hold down my control, that's a smooth operation, so that will smooth out the distribution. Let's add a little bit more at the end here. By default, again, it shrinks. Now you can see down here at the lower end of the curve, we don't really have enough spheres, so with the Alt key, I can add spheres. Again, with the control, I can smooth. But if you have too many spheres, and it's possible to get too many to add too many spheres, with Shift and Alt, you can actually take the spheres away as well. Then come back to Control and do a little bit of smoothing. And of course, I can still come back to my Edit command and edit this curve around and the, the curved spheres go with it. Now what I can also do down back in my Curve Spheres to Clay command, if I switch off the Edit Spheres, I can select that curve, and now I can convert this um, Curve Sphere curve directly into clay. So I'll pick a clay coarseness. Right now I'm going to go with the Ribbed option and just hit Combine into. There's the Curve Spheres converted into clay with the Ribbed option. If I undo that, I'll click on the Smooth option, and there you can see the result, it's smoothed out that ribbing. I'll go back to my curve and edit that. And then just pull this around a little bit. And then go back and convert the curve again into clay. And there you can see the result. Now if I didn't have any curved spheres built onto a curve, I can always go down into my CurvesViz to Clay command, click on that curve. I'm going to turn off the, the options here. And then I have the ability here to show the spheres and switch them on. So there you can see you can also add curve spheres to existing curves as well. Now I'll get rid of these curves and delete these pieces. One word of warning when you're using this command we can have a situation like this where we have curved spheres crossing other curved spheres and we come down and do an edit operation. Edit the spheres and you can see that as I'm editing the curved spheres in the curve in the front, the underlying curves are also being changed as well and you, you might not want that to happen. So what we can do is click on the two curves that we don't want to change and then down here on the Dyna bar, we have a lock option. So we switch on the lock, go back to Edit Spheres. And now when I edit the spheres on the front curve, you can see that the underlying curves don't change. So here's a more complex example. If we come to a 3D view, it's immediately obvious this is a squirrel. But if I come down to the Curve Spheres to Clay command, select all these curves, then what I can do is actually hide the spheres and there you see the underlying curve structure. It's very simple. But as soon as I add those spheres, you can see how we bulk out, rough out this form very quickly. But we still have the ability, if I was to go to Edit Curve, for example, to then quickly start moving these curves around and editing the underlying shape and proportion before we convert this into clay to finish the sculpting. 
And that's a very simple and quick introduction to the new CurvesPhere's commands.